Welcome, welcome. So in this series, we've been building this computer. The current state is that we can add together numbers to produce the Fibonacci sequence. So that's an important milestone. I'd like to move on to the next step. Uh, in the previous episode, I outlined my development strategy. And I did mention that currently there's some things that are not quite right about this computer. One of them is, for whatever reason, I decided to swap around these registers here, depending on the state of this uh, control line here. So this is the two reg control line that switches it from uh, one reg or one register mode to two register mode for the add instruction. And right now it's doing this weird thing where RS becomes the value on L. And I'd actually like to just get rid of that. So I'm going to do that right now. And hopefully the program will still run, but I might need to fix it. So this will ensure that RD is always on the L bus, which will be quite helpful. So the problem that that was causing was with this display. It wasn't displaying the registers properly. It still won't, but at least the RS value just will be invalid if it is not a two reg instruction. So let's test this out and see if it still actually works. It does not. It's still calculating the Fibonacci sequence, but it's not putting it into R3. So uh, I see we were using that to move the value into R3. Hmm. So then I guess we need a move instruction, actually. So a move instruction should be fairly straightforward to add. I'm just trying to think now what would be the place to start. Well, in here we have this multiplexer that changes the value that we put into the result either by directly pulling in R or it adds the two together. So we can make use of that by making sure that the add signal is low, but also the jump signal is low which we can totally do. You can see in here we have add and jump, but then we've got all of these that are completely unused. So what we could do is just simply not wire up one of these to anything. So maybe the first one. Um, actually, maybe the sixth one might be the best to reserve for move. So I'm going to add an output anyway, and it'll just mostly go to a debugging output. So I'm going to put it here. And this should, in theory, go to the last pin here. Yeah. OK. okay. Move. OK. So we have a tunnel for move. I'm actually just going to reuse this over here. So the next step would be to modify our assembler to allow us to do move instructions. So let's do that. OK, I think that's it. Let's make sure that the input move is in the right spot. Uh, I feel like before jump is best. Okay, save. All right, that looks correct. So we have this instruction here and this one here. So on line two, so we can advance to line two go into programming mode and set that to our move instructions. We want to move from R2 into R3. Two, three, it's a two reg. So with this, we also get for free uh, a load immediate or a move immediate or um, 
just loading this value here into a register. So we could actually replace the first one, but we don't need to because the first one still works. Move. Okay, so now we have uh, line four. Let's change this one also into a two rig. Uh, line four is R1 into R3. All right, okay. So this should now be working. It looks like it is indeed working. So let's see if this kind of makes more sense. So we've got a move. It moves R2 into R3. Um, we could probably split this out into a separate display. Uh, let's do that. Oh, I think this looks pretty good. Let's test it out. So we have on line one an add of two registers. We have a move. It's moving one into R3, which is what it does. And then we add two registers. Uh, what? How did R0 become one? There's a bug somewhere. Uh, the jump is broken again. What is that doing? PC becomes one. Um, we have register zero. So the jump value is on R. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if we can put the jump value on L instead. Because what it's doing now is, um, it's putting one on R, but then R is what gets put into the register and it's selecting register zero. And so it's putting garbage into register zero, which is not what we want. So actually the easiest way to fix that is to change the function of this line that goes into the execute unit. Currently what it does is it modifies the result. If we are able to configure it to pull the result from L, that should fix this. So um, that requires setting this to two bits. It'll make this larger. I just move this down and then I wonder if we can do that. And then just for symmetry purposes. Okay. So what this now does is it controls the output mux for the execute unit. So we want to do that. Sure, let's run with it. So we need some logic in here for what that value should be. So we want it to be zero for jump, one for add, and two for move. Um, we could just use a priority encoder with four bits. Oh, not four bits, two bits rather. Let's move this up just down here. Oops. Um, for jump, we want it to be zero. For move, we want it to be two. For pretty much anything else, we want it to be one. Um, but for now, all we have is add. And for in three, we're just going to set that to zero.
Oh, now the results are never coming through, so there's definitely a bug somewhere. Um, need to figure out what that is. Hmm. Zero takes the left bus, one takes the right bus. Ah, so I have those backwards. Two takes the sum. Okay. Um, So let's see, so two will take the right bus, one will take the sum, zero will take the left bus, and of course we have three and that'll always output a zero, which might be handy later, or might not, doesn't really matter, we don't use it. Okay, so now does it work? It appears to be working. So now the only instruction that's actually a one reg instruction is this first one. So we can see if it is displaying correctly. And it looks like it is. We get the value one from, from value here. And uh, this RS value is nonsense in this case, so we can ignore it. Um, and then we have the value zero originally in R2, but now we're gonna store one in R2. So that did indeed work. And it looks like our display is now working properly. And we have a new instruction. We have a move instruction. So I think this is pretty good progress. So thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Bye.